You know, you know, since this is a case involving multiple murder victims, autopsies really are critical because they help jurors understand how the victims died. Today's autopsy testimony was largely focused on a man considered to be the patriarch of the Roden family. And E245. Uh, this is another bullet fragment. It's labeled behind left ear. Ballistic evidence featured prominently today when Dr. Karen Lohman testified during George Wagner IV's murder trial. Finding the bullets are uh, important because that's actually evidence of a crime. Lohman is chief deputy coroner for Hamilton County. She performed autopsies on eight Roden family members who were killed execution style in April 2016. Two years later, investigators charged Wagner, his brother Jake, and their parents with murder. Lohman believes many of the victims were shot multiple times and never moved, something she found strange. In my mind, I was trying to figure out why somebody wouldn't respond when other people in the house are getting shot. I think they would wake up with gunfire. Prosecutor Angela Canepa spent hours questioning Lohman about the way Chris Roden Sr. died. In her opening statement last week, Canepa said the Wagners targeted the 40-year-old Roden as part of a scheme to gain control of a child Jake Wagner had with Roden's daughter, Hannah May Roden. And that's because he was the patriarch of the family, and they considered basically that if they kind of got rid of him, that the, the structure of the family would fall. On the stand today, Lohman described the brutality of one wound in particular Roden suffered to his right arm. Uh, my opinion was that an, uh, a high-powered weapon caused that wound. Um, the faster the bullet, the more velocity, the more damage it causes to the human body. Now, after jurors took a lunch break, Lohman was back on the stand testifying about the autopsy she performed on Chris Roden Sr.'s cousin, Gary Roden, also killed in the Pike County massacre. Then an Ohio BCI agent, a BCI agent rather, who took the stand yesterday, well, he was called back to testify more about his role in the investigation. Reporting live tonight from Waverly, Todd Dykes, WLWT News 5.